y'all, this is Anna Alexander. Welcome back to my basement. I don't know what I'm doing anymore, but I think I'm going to attempt to finish out season one. This is episode seven of Husband Hotel and all of the beans have been spilled. It's Kevin with his chili on the floor. So, okay, where do I begin? Okay, so, Maggie was an angel. Ha 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 ha. And so now if, when I go back and I see other episodes, when her hair is long from behind, it does kind of look like folded up angel wings. I don't know if that was intentional, but that's what I see. I think Charlie will forgive her. She might be a little bit miffed at first, but the reason she was an angel and fall was because she was trying to save Charlie's people. But I think what sh did it shock me most, but high up on my what, is the fact that not all of the angels are aware that this extermination happens. I thought that's, they all knew that, that that's what happened. If you do well, you go up to heaven. If you do poorly, you go down to hell. And then every year they go and weed out because it's too much because there's too many sinners in the world. But only a select few knew. Who else does not know? And now we've got little angel Emily who's questioning everything. Mm, I'm so excited. Okay, so I'm super excited to get back to it and I'm so glad that you're all here with me for this adventure. So you're gonna get under your comfy cozy blanket, get your beverage of choice. Today, my beverage of choice. Got a little ginger whiskey with some lime. I'm starting slow. I'll get up to speed later. I got lots of things I'm watching today, but um, yeah, full episode watch along is available on Patreon. I would love to see you there. Also, I started watching Lucifer. So full episode watch along is available for that as well. Um, yeah, okay y'all, let's get to it. So like, where are your wings? <laughs> <sighs> Any other questions? How come every time Charlie talks to heaven, we get in deeper and deeper shit? <laughs> <laughs> now where is Miss Fearless Lita anyway? She's upstairs, coming up with something I'm sure. Or she's just in the tub crying in her Chardonnay with a sleeve of Thin Mint Girl Scout cookies by her side. Close enough. <laughs> Go away, Alistair. No, no. Is that any way to act after picking a fight with all of heaven and dooming everyone you love? How can I face them after failing them all so hard? They came here to be saved, and all I gave them was more pain. <laughs> He's just kicking his heels. <laughs> I never expected to see such a miserable display of self-loathing from oh, you. Oh, no. I got a bad feeling Alistair's going to strike a deal with her. Adam has an invincible exorcist army pointed right at my doorstep, and there's nothing I can do about any of it. She's really desperate. Oh, something you don't know. Which is Those big scary angels are not quite as indestructible as they see. Oh, yeah, that's right. How? But they I'll don't do know anything. how the angel is killed though. Then let's make a deal. You want my soul? Your soul? No, all I need from you is one itty bitty favor. Which will be just as bad. One favor at a time of my choosing where you harm no one. In return, I tell you what I know. Do we have a deal? Deal. Oh, no. No, no. Oh, no. What did you do? Let her go. Baggy, stop. What? Oh, Charlie's eyes were different. Carmilla Carmine? She killed an exorcist in the last extermination. She knows how they can be harmed. I didn't even know that was possible. If you did, would you have told me? Charlie. Oh, oh, oh. Convince her to teach us. If she can, we might have a chance. With just the seven of us? No, we're... We're gonna teach everybody! Alistair and Charlie just left like they were running away from their responsibilities. <laughs> We have a plan, but it includes defending ourselves against the angels. Yeah, I love how it's like, no more, s we're going to redeem ourselves. It's we're preparing for war. Yeah, I told boss about it months ago. He what? What? They say insane shit all the time. How was I supposed to know this one was true? Look, this hotel's about to become the most dangerous place in hell. I know this place can work. 
but none of you signed up for this. I'm gonna go learn how we can fight back, but when I come home, we'll all understand if none of you are here. Well, I don't know if Nifty and uh, Husker have a, a choice about not being there because of Alistair. Where are we? Cannibal Town. <laughs> Cannibal Town. But it's it's surprisingly nice here. <laughs> Come now, Alistair. She's much too young for you. Oh, I'm just kidding. I know you're an ace in the hole. I want to. Charlie, this is Rosie, the most darling, delightful, and dangerous overlord this side of the pentagram. Come in. Can I offer you something to eat? I'm sure I have a leg around here. Yeah, I, I don't I don't know if I'd want to have treats from Rosie. What would you eat in hell if you're not a cannibal? Well, your cannibals help at least to fend off the attack. Wow. When you ask a favor, you don't start small, do you, your highness? And by the end. They will be able to eat their fill. I'm guessing he's speaking of angels. Sure, why not? Really? What can I say? I like your moxie, girl. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. What is getting in return, Charlie? Carmine, we need to speak. <laughs> I know what you did on extermination day. We can talk about it inside or I can yell about it out here. <laughs> right, you open that door. We know an angel fell at your hands, and we need to know how. No. What do you mean, no? The princess of hell means nothing to me. Ooh. 90 seconds. With your knowledge, we wouldn't have to helplessly stand by while... Clearly, I am not the helpless one here. Oh. 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 <laughs> I will not invite destruction into my house on my people. Oh, I love how, or find interesting how she considers her people, not all the people of hell, as Charlie does, but just the people in her house. They won't stop until all of hell is wiped out, so you can help us make a stand here together, or you can stand alone tomorrow, and what do you think your chances will be then? You're out of time. <gasps> oh! Angels attack quickly, viciously, and without mercy. Yes, she would know. <laughs> I just realized... Stephanie Beatrice and Daphne, Daphne, Daphne were both in, in the heights. <laughs> but to get this group into line, you gotta win them over. But how do I? With sparkle, razzmatazz, and that oh so appealing moxie. And a song! We, there's gotta be a song coming. So in order to convince any of them, you'll need to convince all of them. And there's one in particular. Uh, Susan. Who's a bit of a... Uh, Ordinary old bitch. That. Susan. Win her over, and the rest will be easy as pie. Whoa! Bring Rosie back. Susan. This must be Susan, Susan yeah. <laughs> my name's Charlie. Whoa! And, well, get I'm off Evan's hotel with thing. my partner. Yeah. Get off that shit about all, some hotel. Get off. Make a stand. Where's the showmanship? Where's the Where's the showmanship? <laughs> Does um Vaggy still have her wings? You want me to teach you how to beat angels? That's what I'm doing. By showing you the flaws in your own fighting style. Yours and all your sisters. How? You have a giant X over your eye and wield an angelic spear. It's not rocket <laughs> science. <laughs> you fight like someone unafraid of harm, and this is what you'll take advantage of. Oh, she's showing her. With what? Some secret weapon of yours? Stupid girl, are you really so dense you don't realize you're holding the answer? Angelic weapons? Is that... Oh, you use their weapons against them! Angelic steel isn't common. But my daughters and I were cornered in that last extermination. You don't become an angelic arms dealer without arming yourself first. <gasps> oh! By your detestation, your every step is stuffed with animus. You need a different type of motivation. But 
I hope Vaggy doesn't accidentally kill Carmela during this <laughs> training. Oh, yeah, you just might rise as broad long as you're out for love. Where's your wings? <sighs> what do you do when someone you love lies to you about who they are? Romance? <laughs> My girlfriend is an exorcist angel, and she never told me. Oh, shit. <laughs> Quite a secret. Angry? Because we share everything. Because she always supported me and my ideas and... and... She always supported you. Oh, no, that's a horrible thing to think. Do I think that? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Isn't that silly hotel of yours all about redemption? Yes. Perhaps mm. this girl was trying to redeem herself too. <laughs> she fucked up, sure. She's flawed, but hey, who down here isn't? And I can't even pitch my hotel right. Well, how do you normally explain your hotel? By singing, but that never works. It will work here, trust me. So Rosie's being very awfully kind and 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 kind. Um, I'm waiting for the shoe to drop. Wanted something that was so clean. Alistair's mic. Gotta come into my own. Gotta come into my throne. Gotta take charge and defend my only home. Is Alistair gonna ask Charlie to kill her pops? I don't know why that thought just came into my mind, but it was when she said she has to take the throne. Wouldn't it be super to see more of hell? Join up now if you like travel. Come on, boys, hop in the saddle. On all the angels you can eat. Okay. Great throne. Whoa. Great throne. So what happens if the cannibals eat the angels? Do they, like, imbibe certain powers? We follow your lead. We're eager to feed. We'll sharpen our teeth for the heavenly feast. Where every bond purchase is a bullet in your best guy's gun. It's going through my head right now. I really hope that I'm ready for this. Now she doubts herself. Now she doubts herself. Oh jeez. Wow. Wow. <laughs> A souvenir from Cannibal Town. Oh, Charlie. Come on, let's go home. <laughs> oh, and they stayed. Yeah. They're fortified. <laughs> Decided to show up. We thought we were fighting by ourselves. You're, you're still here. Well, looks like we have a lot of work to do. So we got a battle coming. So that felt, felt as if it was the calm before the storm. Even though things happened, Charlie got a group of people. I guess kind of to be the pawns. Vaggy learned how to take down the angels for Camilla. Kick ass month fight learning sequence. You know what I mean? But I feel as if we're just hovering over the shit going wrong. Because Alistair, Charlie owes Alistair a favor. And when will he expect the favor to be delivered? And we have the extermination coming. So with the season finale, we have an extermination coming. Will Lilith come? <laughs> so I feel as if I don't really have a whole lot to say about this episode because it was the buildup. I enjoy Carmella a lot. I don't know why. I just really, they give her the best songs and motivations and like, there's a vibe about her that I immediately just kind of pick on and go on, yes, she's awesome. And Rosie, I don't, I'm gonna side-eyed Rosie for now. Yeah, I think that's 
<laughs> I'll just leave it at that. Let's not ramble. So, oh my gosh. Okay, so there was one more to go. I think it's the big showdown. It looks as if it's going to it better be. That's what it's promised. I hope it delivers. So yes, please be with me for that adventure. And in the meantime, please take care of yourselves. Um, eat your vegetables and your protein. <laughs> Stretch your bodies and then come back and watch the next video in the queue. So thanks again, you all. And until next time.